Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today's video, I'm just gonna do like a little sit down, get ready, not get ready, that's a lie. <laughs> I'm just gonna do like a little sit down, get to know me kind of video. Um, there is like a certain direction that I kind of want um, this channel to go through. So I wanna be continue with the fashion videos, but I wanna make a lot more lifestyle sort of videos and uh, videos about certain things that I'm really interested in and stuff. So I do wanna start progressing down that route as well and sort of uh, mix it up a little bit. Um, I do have like a couple of questions just up here that um, I just got on Google pretty much, just so that I can answer for you guys so that you can get to know me a bit more. So if I'm looking over here, it's because I'm looking at the question. So let's get started. So the first one is, uh, where did you grow up and where do you currently live? So. I grew up in like Greater London, still currently live here. I did move to Southampton for three years to do for uni, um, but once I finished, came back to Greater London, just more opportunities here. Um, I really like the area and I like being close to my family and stuff. So um, yeah, I don't think I'd want to move permanently to another location, but I do, I don't really mind the, the uh, I don't mind the idea of like moving to another city or something for like temporary, um, but yeah, permanent settlement would probably be Greater London near my family. Dogs or cats, I'm obviously a dog person. Uh, favorite breed is a bulldog. We have an English bulldog called Pablo and he's great. And yeah, I pretty much hate cats. Um, I think my cousin's cat is probably the only exception to cats that I like and that's because she's, uh, a motorbike. She's a uh, scaredy cat, so she pretty much doesn't come up all in your, f in your face in your business, which um, I quite like. Uh, what year were you born? I was born in 93, so I am 25 turning 26, and I was born in November, um, so I am a Sagittarius sun sign. Um, what is your spirit animal and why? Uh, I don't know if I've got a spirit animal, to be fair. <laughs> probably be a raccoon or something like that just because they're like really lazy but hilariously funny and kind of cute tea or coffee I don't really drink either so I mean tea over coffee I don't drink coffee at all and every now and then I'll drink some tea it's mostly um, like herbal tea and that is a tractor going by I'm really sorry if it's noisy by the way I'm gonna put some sort of music behind it just to kind of drown it out but um, yeah, you are pretty much perched on my windowsill for the natural lighting and I, uh, my room is facing a busy road, so there's that. Who are your favourite YouTubers? So, um, I was having this conversation not too long ago with one of my colleagues at work, actually. Uh, in terms of like, I'd probably have to say my favourite YouTuber would be Do David Dobrik, just because I actually do watch every single one of his videos. Um, I just like how short they are and they're really funny and entertaining. Um, in terms of like fashion YouTuber, I really like Best Dressed. I just love her, the way that she films and her personality. Her style isn't 100% similar to mine. We have really different body shapes, so I don't think I could dress the way that she dresses, but she's great and I really like her and I love watching her videos. Um, I'm really enjoying all of her girl talk and discussion all sort of videos that she does. I just think she's, um, she's just really cool. Uh, do I speak any languages and how well? So my parents are from Portugal, so I do speak Portuguese. I speak it fluently. Um, it's not, I'm stronger with English, but uh, I do find that when I'm there and I'm visiting and I'm constantly surrounded by it, I pick it up really quickly. And um, yeah, but I'm, oh, there's a lorry going by, I'm really sorry, it's really distracting. <laughs> but uh, I would prefer to, well, I would like to work on it and get better with my Portuguese, to be honest. But yeah, I do speak and read and write. My reading and writing is really, really weak, but I can do it. So, <laughs> um, so there's that. Are you single or taken? I am taken. Uh, Kai and I have been together for, it will be six years on the 22nd of September. So we've been together for a while now. It's probably going to be a long one long haul one uh, how long was your longest relationship it's currently this one so six years um how would you describe your fashion sense uh 
I don't know how I'd describe my fashion sense. Uh, I find that I just like to be comfortable and it tends to change depending on my mood. Um, a lot of it is influenced through uh, menswear and like tailoring um, and streetwear and like lounge sort of wear. So smart casual, I guess, or like streetwear smart. I don't know how I'd describe it, but um, yeah, there's, there's touches of femininity, but it's mostly masculine. Um, and it's always comfortable. I have to constantly be comfortable. I hate being uncomfortable. Like it's the biggest, it's just my biggest pet peeve of just like clothing is that it's like, it has to be uncomfortable, but um, to look good, I just, yeah, I just hate that saying of like, oh, you've, you gotta suffer for pain, like suffer for beauty or whatever it is. I can't, I literally just think that's absolute bullshit. Comfort comes first always. How many siblings do I have? I have the one, he is older, three years older than me, I think. Yeah, I think it is three years. Um, what is your go-to hairstyle? I always put my hair up. My hair is really, really thick and um, it's really difficult to do anything with it. So I just put it up because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to do anything with it. Um, but I do think that, oh, that's fine. let me just put that on silent. I do think that a low pony or bun with like a middle parting really suits me. I don't know if people will agree, but I like it and I think it looks nice. So this is probably my go-to. But um, when I'm working and stuff, I tend to just literally just bang it up in either a ponytail or a big bun here, which makes all my baby hairs just go absolutely insane. So my hair looks pretty wild. I have like, it's, yeah, it's crazy. It's pretty crazy. What is your go-to fast food order? Uh, I'm a vegetarian, so my options tend to be limited, but I really like the soy bean, uh, the soy burger, any place that does that is great. You know, like the vegan burgers that pretty much are like beef burgers. Oh, they're so good and um, any place that does that is great. So like Leon does like the Honest Burger, which is pretty much that and they're so good. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much the veggie options of whatever it is on the menu. So it tends to be quite limited. Uh, do you use a PC or Mac? I use a Mac. Most of my technology is Apple. Kai's got a PC, so sometimes I jump on that to play games, but rarely. So I'm a Mac user mostly. My most memorable vacation memory. My most memorable vacation memory. Um, Uh, I loved Brazil. We went to Brazil as like a family vacation when I was like nine or ten and it is still my absolute favourite family vacation that we've ever gone on. Um, I really, really loved it. It was the best time we ever had. But uh, recently, Kai and I went to Rome for like the weekend and I loved it. I, I think I'm like in love with Italy. So we're going to try and visit Italy again, like maybe go to Sicily or somewhere else um, next year for the summer or something. I'm not sure when, but... Um, yeah, I loved Italy so much, so probably that one most recent, recent one, um, but most memorable, probably the family one in Brazil. What are your morning slash evening routines? So I don't have any routines. <laughs> it is something that I do want to kind of get into the habit of. I want to implement, I want to implement a morning routine. But I tend to be, I am a morning person and I, I tend to get up quite quickly. Um, I can just sort of wake up and just get out of bed and just get on with my day quite quite well. So uh, I would like to have some sort of morning routine though, just to get that sort of structure in place as well. Because on my days off, if I don't have anything planned or if I haven't planned things that I wanna do the evening before, I will just literally stay in bed the whole day and just count it as a personal day but it happens far too often for it to be a personal day so I would like to have some sort of morning routine to just get me into that like habit of getting up doing those things and then just starting my day right um evening routines I am like I've said I'm a morning person but I love bedtime and my <laughs> my cousin who's also my absolute bestest friend uh takes the absolute piss out of me because 10 o'clock, 10.30, I like to be asleep, to be honest. I I will go to bed as early as eight o'clock. Um, 
it's not necessarily that I'm going to sleep at eight o'clock, but I just love to be in bed. Like, I just like getting in bed, watching a couple of things and just getting all cozy and then just, just being able to really wind down before I go to sleep. I hate having to just go straight to sleep. Like, I literally hate that. So whenever I'm out and it's quite late, it's like I have to, even if I know that I'll fall asleep within like two minutes, like I have to just put something on just so that I get that minute of like bedtime. I don't know, like, yeah. Do you have any bad habits? I have a lot of bad habits. Um, I have like a ridiculous addiction to like junk food, specifically crisps, which I think I've been doing relatively well recently with like, not giving in to the cravings but um i am quite messy which i'm trying to get get out of but um, there's i have like so many that i'm trying to think of like good ones i have this habit of like <laughs> I, I don't know i don't know why i got into this habit as well whenever i'm eating eating any junk or whatever it is i will f like just throw the packet onto kai <laughs> I just put the packet, empty packet, onto Kai so that he can put it on the side rather than <laughs> me doing it. He, it drives him insane and I, I literally don't know why I do it. I just, it's like become like just my subconscious just doing it. I don't, I literally don't know. What is my favourite Netflix show? So I watch a ridiculous amount of stuff. I watch, um, yeah, I watch so much stuff like TV, series, movies, um, I watch loads of YouTube videos. Sometimes I go, like, I'm almost certain this is like everyone though, that you just go into that weird YouTube hole and you just like get sucked in. Um, but at the moment, my favorite Netflix show. So I just watched, I know I'm kind of late to it, but I just watched When They See Us and sobbed like hysterically at the last episode about Corey. Um, I really, really, yeah, that was a good series. I, I don't want to say I enjoyed it, but I did like, it was a good series. Um, what else have I been watching on Netflix? Let me get it up actually, I can show it, I can see it. Cause I watch, I watch like multiple things at the same time. And then sometimes one just grips me more and I'll just like go into tunnel vision and just watch that. Um, Mindhunters season two came out, which was great. Um, I have been watching Salem, but then I went on holiday, so I need to finish it. I think I've got two episodes to finish. Um, Peaky Blinders, Kai and I have like restarted watching it because he's actually never seen it. And obviously the new seasons came out and I kind of stopped watching it. I can't remember what season in, so we've started that again. And I love Peaky Blinders. Um, what else is there? What else have I been watching? That is pretty much it on here actually. I watch Working Mums, but I like watching that because it's like, they're like half hour episodes or something, I think. Let me just see actually. Yeah, they're like 20 minute episodes, like 20 minute, half an hour episodes. So when I've got, only got like a half hour break at lunch, uh, at work I mean, I tend to watch like Working Mums just because it's funny and it's the right sort of time. But, um. We are also watching the US Office for like the third time, uh, which I I just absolutely love. So yeah, that's that's what we're watching at the moment. What theme parks have you been to? I've been to Thought Park because that's the one that's closest to us. I went to I've been to Legoland as well. I don't know if you'd consider that a theme park, but yeah, I've been to those two. Uh, I think I've been to another one, but I can't remember what it's called. And I was quite young. What is your favourite genre of film and why? So this will vary and change depending on my mood, but I really do love horrors and thrillers, anything that will get that adrenaline going. Uh, I tend to find slashers does that for me. I know that's probably the like, the worst that people would pick in the horror sort of genre, but I don't know, I just think because it's kind of realistic in the sense that like, somebody chasing you with a knife and trying to kill you like it's kind of scary um <laughs> it's that adrenaline rush of like oh my god run uh so yeah i like horrors i do like dramas and documentary series and stuff like that um 
and comedies. I do like comedies and just like light hearted sort of stuff as well. Just, yeah, it just depends on my mood really with those sort of stuff. Do you know your personality type? What is it? I do know what my personality type is. It's, tra oh God, is it a traveler? Hold on. Let me find out for you. Personality test. It's, I think it's like, oh, I think it's like the traveler one. Where it's, um, Anyhow, I think it's like the, uh, yeah, like the traveling one or something. It's quite, quite common, I think. Um, have you been to any concerts or festivals which are, were the most memorable? So I don't really go to festivals because I'm not, it's, that's just not my jam. Uh, I have been to a couple of concerts though. I went to a Rihanna rated R one when I was in school, which was quite good. And uh, Kai and I went to Jesse Reyes' little gig sort of concert when she was in uh, the UK, which I think that's probably my most memorable one because it was the first concert that Kai and I went to and um, I really love Jesse Reyes. So uh, yeah, that was, that was really cool actually. Oh my God, sorry about the road. What are your favorite values in France? France. Um, I, my favorite values in friends is just honesty in, and that's like, yeah, just like someone that I, that's 100% honest, that's going to put me in my place if I'm being a dick, that's going to tell me when I'm wrong, um, that's going to just support me in the right way. I don't really want like those friends that just back you up even if you're in the wrong. Like I want someone to be like, actually kind of fucked up there, you should probably apologise. I want someone to be like, you know, helping me be a better person rather than just like, ignoring all of my flaws. I don't really want that as in a friend, um, which none of my friends do, so I'm, that's why I love you all. Um, I just like to have fun. Yeah, someone that's just fun, lighthearted, doesn't take themselves too seriously. Uh, just a general good person as well. I don't really like to surround myself with like negative energy and people that are just gonna like try and pull other people down in order for them to get get higher up like I just yeah I'm not about that I um I just kind of yeah I just want to live my life try and be the best that I can be and constantly grow so I kind of want to surround myself with people that will allow me to do that and help me to do that so honesty is the most important to me just someone that's just going to be honest um and just respectful really like I think I just <laughs> value honesty and respect most of in, in almost anything really honesty respect and communication <laughs> what is the one thing you wish people knew about you there isn't anything actually there isn't anything I think I'm quite an open book there isn't something that yeah like I'm not I'm not that um nothing <laughs> What social media are you addicted to? Um, I use Instagram a lot. I use Facebook to watch videos sometimes, like, cause you know how it just keeps skipping through like that, like, so that's actually how I use video, uh, Facebook and then share like funny videos. And um, YouTube would be my, my, my three. How do you get along with your family? I get along with my family really, really well. Uh, we're a really big family. Um, my mum is one of 11 and my dad is one of seven. So I've got a load of cousins and I was brought up with all my cousins. So my cousins are like my best friends, um, as well as family. So it's like this unbreakable bond because they fully, fully, fully understand me. Uh, they get the whole family aspect of things and then they get the like, like life outside of the family so they just get both sides and um yeah it's an unbreakable bond that I have and I'm really really grateful for and it's something that I would really wish for my kids to have one day as well you are going out with friends describe your night so I no longer drink however I still have a great time and we recent I recently went out for one of my friends birthday that was the last time I went out which was actually a few months ago now I think yeah, it was, yeah. But um, it tends to just be a lot of dancing, 
quite a bit of drinking, um, although I don't drink anymore, but it's, it's just a lot of dancing, a lot of laughs, just making loads of jokes, uh, <laughs> just making absolute idiots out of ourselves and egging each other on, to be honest. Uh, taking photos, of course, I think every like night out with girls and just like with friends is just like selfies all the time. Um, just hyping each other up and just enjoying each other's company, to be honest. What are you happiest with in your life? What am I happiest with in my life? Uh, myself and my relationship. So I'm happy with who I am and I'm really happy with the journey that I'm going on and the way that I'm thinking at the moment. So I'm really open to like personal growth and all those sort of things and just like I'm really happy with where I am like mentally as well, like where my head's at and my relationship as well with Kai. I'm really happy with that. Um, it's just really solid and a really healthy relationship and the healthiest that I've ever been in. So it's nice to be in something like that as well. Um, but yeah, that's probably, that is probably it actually. Um, I'm just gonna finish this video up with just talking a little bit about the kind of direction that I want to, I want this channel to go in now that you guys have kind of got to know me a little bit better and um, I'm hoping you've been able to see my sort of personality just a little bit. Uh, it's not the highest of energies within this video but I'm not always the highest of energy. <laughs> I think when I'm just sitting down and just talking to a camera, uh, I tend to just be a bit more chilled and just a little bit more mellow. But um, yeah, I really wanna sort of dive into a couple more like lifestyle-y and like interests and stuff like that. So like, just really wanna talk a bit more about um, like food and like vegetarian options and just like things like that as well. Um, as well as just like chatty and like advice videos and things like that. Cause um, I'm gonna blow my own trumpet with this one, but I feel like I do give quite good advice and I feel like I've, um, experienced quite a few things to be able to give good advice and I feel like I'm in a good space mentally and uh, I know my values and my worth that I can project that into the world so yeah like more like advice videos um, I'm really into like astrology and like tarot readings and all this sort of stuff so I might dive into that a little bit but um, yeah, I will hopefully have a new video coming out soon as well. I want to do a thrift flip video, another one. So I am kind of working on that at the moment. So that will be, hopefully the next video will be a little thrift flip for you guys. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.